Hi guys, uh, Black Legion Brascar with another video. Uh, so we've come in from the cleaning of the model, like I've shown you in the previous videos. So we've got the decim the four drill decimator here. Um, it's been uh, had the mold lines cleaned off, it's had all the flash cleaned off. It's been then been washed, um, and now we come to actually the building stage. So I've done the most difficult part first, which was the legs. So um, the legs I generally do first on anything like this because they're completely poseable. They come in various parts, so you have the foot, um, the kind of uh, shin, the back jointed leg and the thigh here. And you have to pose them so they sit, as you, if I've rather than throwing it around, pretty flush on any base that it stands on. It can be a little bit of a challenge to do that, so um, the aim of the game is doing something called dry fitting, which I'll come to that in a second, um, so you can get a rough idea. So, um, we've got the rest of the parts here, I'm not going to do them all with you, uh, just to kind of give you the basics. So with Forge World, um, you don't use your polystyrene cement or your plastic glue, um, because that works just by bonding plastic to plastic. That will not work in this case because it's made of resin. So we use either super glue thin, Games Workshop's one there, or super glue thick, which again is the workshop citadel one there. So again, it's a personal preference. When I've just started using the super glue thick, and it's pretty damn handy uh, for for sticking the larger ones together, but generally takes a little bit longer to dry. So um, you can use the, the thin stuff, the thick stuff as you need to. But I'm going to do a couple of pieces with you just to sort of go with that. So we've done. As I say, the, the the bottom half of the decimator. So this is the the upper torso. So we've got the this is where it fits onto the uh, bottom half. Got the head slot, two arm slots, and this is where the two shoulder pads go in. So what we'll do is very simply uh, dry fitting is where you don't use any glue and you just make sure the parts fit. So in this case, I'm going to do the um, exhaust. So we've got one, two three exhausts and from what I can tell matching them up that one goes in there so this is dry fitting literally just making sure that they roughly fit in each one and each one should have its own sort of unique hold so they've got the peg and the hole that that peg fits into so uh, that way around there we go so that's our dry fitting so in this case, I'm going to use super glue thin. So what we do is give it a shake, make sure the lid's on for that. And what I personally do, now some people say coat both surfaces, some people say coat one. That is up to you. So just apply the glue nice and liberally onto the area. Now, generally with super glue, less can be more. Um, to start with because it actually the more you put on I find that the longer it takes to dry So I've put in a fair amount there, but not too much make sure that's the right piece and then just hold it in place so You don't need to, to, to crush it in place uh, you don't need to, um, to To just sort of slam it together just hold it in place as steady as you can And there you go, it's pretty solid. So you can use super glue thin. I'm using I'm choosing to use super glue, sorry, super glue thick. I'm choosing to use the thin stuff too because it's easy use on this one. If you're a little bit concerned about the gaps, and at the end of there will be a couple, so don't worry too much about that. You can fill those with uh, green stuff or liquid green stuff, and I'll do that video another time. Something I personally do is just run the brush around the edge with some glue on and let that dry. And that just gives it an extra bond around the edge, guys. So, um, very simply, that's it, guys. So, you, it, it's a nice, simple process. Don't rush it. One piece at a time. Let it dry. Move on to the next bit when that's done. Try and pick an area, get that finished, and move on. So, that's your simple building part, guys. Um, so... We, I, I've done super glue with resin. I'll be doing super glue with metal. 
and plastic glue with other models in different videos just to kind of give you an idea. One final hint for you, if you're finding the bit will not stick, there's a chance you may have a little bit too much super glue on or for whatever reason it, it isn't sticking and you'll just find you get a kind of horrible gloopy paste um, with the super glue starting to thicken but not dried. What you can do, uh, super glue reacts with water. Don't drop water on it like pure water because it'll turn white and give you a really horrible finish. Um, what I tend to do is you take one of the surfaces you're working with, so let's say I had glue on here uh, and a glue on one of the parts here. If you've got glue on the surface, just wipe your finger across like that, wiping off the glue. Obviously, don't stick your fingers together, move that out of the way, and then pop that into place. And what that'll do is then that the water will act as a catalyst, that the moisture from your finger will work, work as a catalyst and help to speed the drying of that super glue. So anyway, um, that is my uh, gluing video for super glue on four drill models. I will finish getting this built and we'll see a fully built one and I'll probably do a video on basing and maybe even undercoating for this one as well. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. Cheers for subscribing. We're over 200 now, fantastic. Uh, thank you very much for that. Thank you to all my, uh, my watchers for that and to all the new people that have subscribed. And uh, as soon as I hit the 500 mark, there will be a competition. But more on that when we're a little bit closer to it. Thank you very much guys. Cheers and I'll speak to you later. Bye bye.